heard a crack a little while ago. It's close to 2.30 and uh, this branch fell from that tree and there's still a branch up there that's stuck that's going to need to come down. I don't know if it's visible, but it's uh, sticking out right there. You can see where the other branch fell off. Wow. We thought it was all over, but we still got high winds, just gusts. And this sucker here came down. Missed our house by about 20 feet. Actually, two, it's two pieces. Yeah, we heard that one crack as we were watching TV. And I just asked Ruth Ann to just get up and move. We were in the living room. I just yelled at her to move in case this thing came down on the house. Wild. I want to get the chainsaw out. Ruth Ann was just pointing out where the actual branch broke off of, and you could see it right there. And that came off of actually the one oak tree that's actually pretty straight up and down. This leaning tree caught the crown of the other oak tree and one of its branches broke off in the process and another branch is from the other tree is stuck up in it. Again, it was right there, ready to fall. Pretty wild. We hear trees falling every now and then, you know, you just uh, hope they don't fall close to the house or on anybody. But that was pretty close to the house. That's the house. And there's the branch. Would have done some damage. It's oak, heavy. Would have gone right through the roof. Cut her angle of the branch that broke off. And you can see right there where it broke off the top of the crown of that tree right there. I think that wiener is going to have to get cut down too. Big tree. Leaning towards the house. But gonna fall eventually sooner than later. Really getting crazy out here. Four o'clock on Sunday. Believe it or not, the rain stopped about two, three hours ago, but we've been having uh, trees falling down. Um, we had that one fall down earlier and missed our house by about 15 feet. The wind is just the worst it's been since this whole thing began. And just about 10 minutes ago, 
I heard a crash, crack and a crash, and this is what we have. A pine tree fell from my neighbor's property onto our cul-de-sac, and it is a mess. This had to have been a 50 or 60 year old pine tree. Right across the cul-de-sac, right towards our driveway. Well, this, we gotta get some chainsaws out here. Start getting this thing chopped up. why it fell. Crazy. The wind is, uh, the gusts are got to be up to 50 miles per hour. The tree top, tree tops are just, just going nuts. Just back and forth. It's not surprising more trees aren't falling down. In this whole area there's just got to be hundreds of trees down.